Hi everyone, welcome back to Analytics Tales. This is Reza. In this video, we learn about interactive column charts and how to create them in Excel and how to interpret them. You can see by clicking on these buttons, the chart updates automatically. So the first thing you want to do is open up Excel and upload and upload your workbook. Here we have a data set including a survey of 200 people in Australia about their favorite drink. Now we can create our interactive column chart. To do this, we'll need to follow a few simple steps. Step one is to create a pivot table. To do so, you need to highlight the whole data set that you have. You can click on part of the data and press Control A or Command A to select the whole data set. In this case, we want to highlight all of the available data. Once you have your data highlighted, you can click on the Insert tab at the top and pick uh, Pivot Table. It gives you a few options. Uh, it says that if you want to create it in a new worksheet or existing worksheet, in our example, let put it in a new worksheet and you can rename the worksheet i name it exercise uh, and we have it here so now we have an empty pivot table uh, you can drag and drop some elements into it so in our example uh, let's dra uh, drag preferred drink and drop it into rows. And then we can add annual income into values. We can see that in our table, we have now two columns. The first column is name of the categories, name of the preferred drinks. And in the right, let me zoom in. In the right column, we have sum of annual income. We can see that in our example, the total income of all the employees who preferred apple juice is $645,000. Let's reformat this information. Let's go to home and ask it to be in dollar values. We can reduce the decimal points. Now we have a better understanding of what's going on. In our example, it is not very useful to have the total income of all of the people in each category. We can right click and say that we want the values summarized by averages. Now it is a bit more meaningful. We can see that the average uh, income of all of the people who prepared apple juice is about $49,000. So, Step two is to create a column chart based on your pivot table data. To do this, select your pivot table and go to insert. We do not need to select the grand total. Go to insert and pick the first column chart. Now you have this column chart. You can make it more interesting, for example, you can type it, the title something like average income of employees. You can add something for your axis, axis title for primary vertical. You can say that average uh, average income, which is in dollar sign. You can change the format, make it more interesting. I prefer usually this style, the style six. You can change the color and pick this color scheme, or you can pick any color scheme that you like. Something else that you can do is change the font color to black to make it more readable. 
Now you have your graph created. To make it interactive, we need to add some additional features. So step three. In step three, click on part of your pivot table. You go to pivot table analysis and, uh, and then click on insert slices. If it gives you a few options. In our example, we pick two of the categorical variable. One is work status and the other is a state of the employees. So now it have uh, created two slicers for us. We can format it, move them, and put it somewhere that we like next to our chart. We can make the size different. We can see that the first one is a bit longer. We can adjust the size to make it a bit nicer. And you can change the color, the formatting, and now you have your interactive color chart. You see, by clicking on different buttons, the graph updates automatically. Let's add one other element to our graph. Let's add data labels, and you can easily read what's going on. So by clicking on these different buttons, you can see that this graph now represent all of the employees. By clicking on the first button, you can see that this is the average income of employees in New South Wales, in Queensland, South Australia, Victoria, and Western Australia. Or you can compare full-time employees to part-time employees to seasonal employees, or you can have a combination of both see that the average income of employees in New South Wales, which are full-time, is this amount. Now you can compare and contrast different categories and see what's going on with your data and learn a bit more information. Once you have your uh, slicer linked to your chart, you should be able to test it a few times to make sure that it is working properly. And there you have it. You have just created an interact interactive column chart using slide cells and pivot tables in Excel. Uh, so how to interpret this? Make sure when you want to interpret an interactive column chart, uh, you need to understand what is uh, it's representing, oh, there is a typo here. Uh, if we look at the title, we can see that it is about average income of employees. Second, you should be able to click on different elements, different slicers, and see how the graph updates and how you can compare and contrast different categories together. So you can look for patterns and trends in your data to see when you interact with the chart, how it changes, and is there any specific category that stands out. For example, if we look at full-time employees, we can see that the coffee, uh, the average income of employees who prefer coffee is much higher than other groups. But for part-time employees, it is not, even higher than other groups. So overall, interpreting an interactive column chart in Excel involves exploring the data, manipulating the chart features, and analyzing the trends and patterns to draw meaningful insight. That is all about interactive column charts. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to come back for more Excel tutorials. Thank you.